This is Court Reporting at Home Self-Training Program, Q&A Test Number 3, at 180 words per minute. Ready? How often did you walk prior to the attack? I used to walk four or five times a week. Did you always walk alone? No, sometimes I would have a friend or neighbor walk with me. Were you ever afraid to walk alone? Absolutely not. We have a well-lighted area to walk in. It's very nice, and people are out there walking at all hours of the day and night. Would it be unusual for people to walk as late as 11 o'clock at night? No, sir, not at all. What about early in the morning? How early had you noticed people out walking in the morning? I have seen people walking at 4.30 and 5 in the morning before they go to work. It's not unusual at all. So it's your testimony that there were people walking around this track at almost any time of the day or night. Yes, that's true. Are people allowed to bring their dogs to walk around this track? They aren't really supposed to, but they do it anyway. They almost always have them on a leash, though. Do you own a dog? Yes, I do, but I never took it on my walk walk with me because I wanted to do some power walking and it would be too difficult to keep up with him. On the evening in question, what time had you arrived at the track to begin your walk? It was about nine o'clock, somewhere around there. What had you been doing just prior to that time? I ate dinner late that night, about eight o'clock, and I had just finished the dishes. Was this your usual time to go walking? Well, I would walk anywhere between eight and ten o'clock at night. Why so late? Well, I don't get in from work until about six o'clock, and by the time I rest a little, do a little laundry, or something and maybe run an errand it can be anywhere in that range of time this incident occurred in the early fall can you tell us about what time it began to get dark at that time I can't remember for sure it seems like it was about eight o'clock but I can't remember when the time change was so I might be off a little so at the time you actually began your walk it was completely dark at that time. Yes, it was already dark when I started, and it wasn't too long before it was very dark. From what point did you begin your walk? Well, there is a little park at the end of my block, and I started there. The trail is paved, and it's lighted there. Do you recall if there were other walkers out there as you began your walk? Yes, there were. Do you know the name of anyone who was there that evening? No, I don't, but I didn't know them by name. You just see people walking all the time, and you get to know them by sight, but I never really knew their names or anything. Do you know where any of the people live that were walking that night? Yes, I do. There was a man and woman who live at the end of my block, and I can find out their names. Who else did you recognize that night? Well, there is an older woman who walks with her dog on a leash all the time, and I know the house she lives in on the next block over. How do you know where she lives? I have seen her at her mailbox when I take my son to his class, and she always waves at me. Do you jog, walk, power walk, run, or what do you generally do when you go for your walk? I stretch and then I start out walking, but I try to jog and run some. How long had you been walking or jogging or running before this incident occurred? About 20 minutes. Was anyone inside ahead of you when you first noticed someone behind you? No, I didn't see anyone ahead of me. I could just hear footsteps behind me. Did that cause you to be alarmed, ma'am? Not at that time, I mean, people run up behind you all the time if they want to run, and you're just walking or jogging, so I didn't really think much about it. When did you first become alarmed? When I felt someone tug at the back of my shirt and begin laughing in a low, horrible voice. Did you think this was someone you knew who was teasing you, or were you pretty certain this was a stranger? I didn't know anyone who would do that to me, and I was fairly certain it was a stranger. What did you do when you felt someone pull the back of your shirt? I started to turn around to see who it was, but he grabbed me by my neck and told me to keep walking and to keep looking forward. And did you do as he instructed you? No, I panicked and just broke away from him and started to run as fast as I could. 
What about the guy? Did he run after you? Yes, he did. He was right on my heels. Did he catch up with you? One you knew who was teasing you, or were you pretty certain this was a stranger? I didn't know anyone who would do that to me, and I was fairly certain it was a stranger. Was a stranger. What did What did you do when you felt someone pull the back of your shirt? I started to turn around to see who it was, but he grabbed me by my neck and told me to keep walking and 